Yo, what's going on everybody? It's the Flying Pig here on Flying Pig United with another cheeky little video for you, uh, just covering the latest United news of the day. Uh, we've got a bunch to get into today. Obviously, as you can see by the headline, it's not good news. It's fucking awful news. We're going to discuss it all today and get into it and give you the latest on what is going on with the Mason Greenwood situation and these current allegations and everything that's going on. But um, yeah, I mean, what the hell is going on with this, with this club at the moment in general? It's an absolute shambles. And this is just another horrible negative thing that we can add to the horrible negative things that have been going on lately. Obviously, this is a personal, this is personally very, very bad, you know, but we're going to cover it and get into it now anyway. So let's, uh, let's talk about some of the situation. So in terms of the allegations, which is what they are, you know, this is a, this is all alleged right now, peeps. So, you know, there is a, a little thing called innocent until proven guilty. Now, what I will talk about is I will give my opinions because this is what I do on this channel. I give my opinions on what is the situation for Mason Greenwood if he is guilty of these, you know, um, alleged domestic abuses that he's been, um, you know, uh, that's been laid at his door here. Obviously, the the the, the situation is as this: his ex has basically come out and posted, um, you know pictures on social media of bruises and various different other things and also aud an audio file featuring what is alleged to be Mason Greenwood um, basically sounding ridiculously rapey and basically forcing himself upon her, right? That's what the alleged audio file is. That's what it is. In case you wondered what it is, I'm not going to play it on this show, guys, just so you know. It is out there. If you guys want to go and listen to it, you can, but I don't really want to play it on this show. But um, in, in regards to what is supposed to have been alleged, you know, there's an audio clip of what is supposed to be, allegedly, <laughs> Mason Greenwood, like I say, um, well, there's no other word for it, being abusive and forcing himself essentially upon his ex. That is what is, is uh, it, it, you know, is in the audio of this particular file, guys. So as far as this situation goes with Mason, if it's true, then he's an absolute piece of shit, isn't it? If this is absolutely true, guys, if I'm going to say if it's true, then I'm sorry to say we don't want anything to do with this guy at Manchester United. We don't want somebody like that. I mean, you know, I say if it's true. I mean, there's evidence here which suggests you, you can't go on just, you know, photos. You can't go on stuff like that. But the audio evidence, if it's Mason Greenwood, allegedly is pretty damning. Let's just say that, guys. Let's just say it's pretty damning audio. And so, from that point of view, if it's actually the case, then I definitely don't want Mason Greenwood uh, representing this football club. That's all I'm saying. Um, you know, looks can be deceiving. He seems like he seemed like a sweet lad to me. He, he seemed like a nice guy. You just never know. And that's if this is uh, proven to be the case. But I mean, like I say, there's 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 evidence that suggests this is the case. Um, I'm not going to play the audio on this show, Ikra and Daya, but, um, you can, you can go and check it out yourself. It doesn't prove, like you say, the audio in itself doesn't prove, you know, the actual act or of any, any sort of rape or anything like that. It doesn't prove that. But what it just does show, if that's Mason Greenwood's voice, is that he's a piece of shit. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, I don't know which, really, which way we want to talk about this. Somebody said, oh, it doesn't prove, somebody just said in the chat, it doesn't prove he's raped to that audio. Yeah, but it does prove he's a fucking rapey piece of shit though. If that is him in the audio, I just want to say that. So um, as much as we can all pretend and say, yeah, you know, um, that doesn't prove anything. Well, it, it, what does it have to prove? It just proves the fact that he's a bad egg. Isn't that good enough for you in terms of like uh, who we want to be representing Manchester United? And, and also just forget about football for a moment. Let's just forget about football for a moment. Let's, let's just be clear about this. There are allegations, but if they're true, then there's a victim in all of this, guys, which we have to respect and we have to be aware of. The fact that somebody has gone through, you know, some horrible situation because of somebody else. And it's bigger than football. It's bigger than a football club in in, the, in those terms. It's down to you know actual human, human. Uh, it's down to a human level. This guys and unfortunately for uh, for Mason, whether or not this is true, if, even if it turns out to be you know I don't know some sort of BS fabricated thing, which I personally don't think that's the case. But you just don't know allegedly, um, right? So um, you know even if this does turn out to you know get brushed on the cup or it's not the case or whatever, it's like he's had a massive stain all upon his character now. His um, 
it's 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 going to be hard to come back from this from Mason Greenwood's point of view because you know everybody's sharing this media around they're they're listening to the audio they're looking at the pictures and as far as everybody's concerned really um you know well i mean i don't want to say the words because i've got to be careful about what i say um but, <laughs> but it's very much a, a situation where unfortunately if it's true he doesn't have a leg to stand on and none of us should support him if it's true. And from what we can see from the evidence so far, there's strong suggestions that that may be the case. I'm not going to say the words because I don't know. Um, I guess none of you do, but we can all make our own minds up and we can all make our own assumptions up based on what we've listened to and what we've seen. And I would advise anybody to go and do that and listen to it and uh, make your own mind up. But me personally... If it's true, I don't want Mason Greenwood to be anywhere near Manchester United. That's what I'm saying, guys. And also, there's a victim in all of this, and we need to be very careful and and obviously uh, understand that that uh, this must be a very difficult time for her, for 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 her. To be honest, uh, if you know, if it's true, God Almighty, I just, just want to try and cover myself. Hey, Mercato, thank you for your highlighted member comment there, dude. I know it's not a very... Thank you so much. He said, I love you too, man. Thank you so much, Mercato. Guys, I know it's not a very nice topic, but do us a favor at the start of this show today and hit that like on the video. Give it a thumbs up. Do share it around. Help us get a few more people in here so we can let you know what's going on with this situation. Let me read the statement then, guys. I just want to give you the statement here from, uh, from Manchester United. It's not so much as a statement as it is a promise of a statement, really, because it's not really a statement in the sense that, well, I guess they need to know more information before they can truly truly make a fair assessment just like we we can of course flying pig united fan thank you for the 79p super chat there my man so this is uh an update from uh, man united this morning um it was on manchester Union news but espn covering it loads of other places this is just where i found a picture of the quote we are aware of images and allegations circulating on social media we will not make any further comments until the facts have been established manchester united does not condone violence of any kind so just to be perfectly clear here, guys, they you know they 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 have to they ha they have to obviously uh, be a hundred percent sure about what they're what they're going to do here in the situation in regards to Mason Greenwood. Is he guilty of this? Is he not? Before they a hundred percent exile him and say you're gone, you know, terminate his contract, suspend him, you're sacked off. You know they've got to obviously be a hundred percent sure because um, you know. Who? I mean, I, I, listen. I don't. I, I, I really want to be careful with what I say. I don't want to go down a path of accusing anybody of making anything up because I personally don't think that's happened. I just want to say that now. But that's to say that that sort of stuff hasn't gone in the in the past would be stupid. So you've got to obviously make sure that everything is is looked at from an objective point of view. There is such a thing as innocent until proven guilty, of course. And I guess Mason Greenwood's going to be given that fair that fair uh, course of justice, you know. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what goes on with Mason, but if it's true, then he's a piece of shit, and I don't want him to play for Manchester United anymore, guys, and I'm sure neither of you, n none of you do either, because, um, you know, it, it, it... oh, and you know what, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, guys, but that, the audio, I'm not going to play the audio on this show, right, guys, but if you go and listen to the audio, <sighs> if that's Mason, what is the matter with the youth of today. Some and it's not actually the youth of today. Let me take that back. What's the matter with fucking some youth of today and some footballers these days, particularly these young footballers? They're just given so much so soon. There's this massive sense of entitlement. What the fuck makes anybody think that they have the right to demand sex from any other person at any given time anyway? I mean, I don't personally think it is a youth thing or a footballer thing, actually. I just think it's a piece of shit thing. When it boils down to it, it's like there's certain people out there who, let's face it, are just a little bit rapey. <laughs> there you go, I said it. And Mason Greenwood is allegedly, possibly, of that character. I'm not saying that he is 100% yet, because who knows, maybe there's somebody that's done a very good Mason Greenwood impersonation on an audio. We don't know 100% yet. Sounds like it is to me, but let's look at all of the facts from an objective point of view first. Oh... Yeah, I'm not tiring everybody with the same brush. Absolutely, Ian Dawn, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But it does seem like in this modern day and age of football, let's be honest, I'm, I'm sure it goes on more nowadays than it did, did 20, 30 years ago. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just I, I, I'm an adult now. So we see it more. We hear about it. Maybe the media is what it is. So you hear about it more. It's more publicized. But I swear this, I swear footballers these days, man, crikey. 
bunch of wrong ones, man. I mean, not all of them. There's still some stand-up characters. Most of them absolutely spot on, of course. But I'm just saying, it seems like the amount of bad eggs in the game of football these days is increasing by the year. Um, just my opinion, guys. You may disagree. But uh, there's lots of high-profile footballers just in the last year alone that have been uh, either found guilty or had serious allegations against them for various things. I mean, you know, I don't know what it is about about the... The, the modern football game that sort of breeds these these very... Oh, I do know what it is. It's they get given so much money so much soon and they think they're the fucking shit, guys. That's what it is. And they think they can do anything. And in reality, they can't. And they did a massive reality check, a lot of these people. But there you go. I'm not going to... Like you say, Indor, and I don't want to tie everybody with the same brush. I'm just simply saying that it does seem like from this... In this modern age, there is a little bit more going on in regards to that kind of thing with footballers all the time. All the time you hear about footballers having allegations against them. It's fucking disgusting, really. He's 20, not a teenager anymore, says Lewis Byrne. Guys, get your thoughts and opinions in about the situation. Listen, I'm going to have to tread a little bit carefully because these are allegations right now. And from a legal point of view, you know, you've got to be careful. I've got to be careful what I say. Obviously, if I'm giving your thoughts, that's okay. But my personal thoughts, you know, are... As I've said, <laughs> if he's guilty, guys, then he hasn't got a leg to stand on. And, and like I say, I mean, if it's true, I just want to say, you know, you have to respect the the the, um, the bravery of his of his ex for uh, for coming out and saying this. Um, Harriet is ex Harriet for coming out and saying this and releasing this information, because I'm sure there's a lot of occasions, a lot of times when people have gone and suffered in, in silence in regards to things like this. Right. And. You can't blame, if anybody's out there trying to suggest that the victim is at blame here or the victim's fabricating things or anything like that. I mean, you can't take that stance, guys. You can't take that stance at this moment in time because we, we need more information for a start. But if you're just basing the evidence on what is there right now, then, you know, what 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 more what more do you need? <laughs> what more do you need? I mean, there's actual audio evidence of a, of a certain encounter. So... <sighs> guys, I really don't know what to say about this one. I've woken up today. I'm, you know, you know me, I'm a night owl. I stay up all night, I get up late. I woke up today and there's a bombshell on my doorstep and Mason Greenwood possibly being, you know, uh, uh, essentially, well, accused of, of rape, accused of domestic abuse at the very least, accused of uh, forcing sex upon his ex, accused of all these different things. So this is a terrible day for, for, for everyone who's involved with this football club because... We just didn't, we didn't see this coming. We didn't know, we didn't know uh, this was going to happen today. Obviously, we didn't expect this from somebody like Mason Greenman. And as I say, it is an allegation at this stage. I've got to be a little bit careful, guys. You know my personal opinions, though. Like I say, if it's true, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Let me just jump into the live chat really quick and see what you guys are saying. Yeah, 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 exactly. Rach, is anyone defending rape? Give your head a wobble. Yeah, you just, I'm sorry to say, you just can't defend that audio. That's what I'm talking about here. Or the pictures, of course, you can't defend that truth. You can't defend that either. But the but the audio is really the the most damning thing. It's also domestic violence, says first class gamer. Alex says spot on pig. Hope you're against this behavior, says MWK360. I mean, it's a bit of a stupid comment, really, MWK. Fair enough. You think I'm for domestic abuse, mate? No. I'm against domestic abuse, bro. Um, I'm definitely disgusted by his alleged actions, mate, and his in that audio that is um, that has been released today, guys. And it's all around media. You can listen to it. You can make your own mind up. But it's very damning. That's all I would say. It's very, very damning. And in a lot of these occasions, there is no smoke without fire. You know, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, you get these stories of a of a scorned ex or whatever. But in you know, in this occasion, it's it's kind of a there is a there's an audio snippet of a clear encounter. So I don't really know what to say about it, other than the fact that. I don't see any way for Mason Greenwood to sort of come back from this unless there's a ridiculously small chance that this has all, you know, been faked, which I'm not, I'm not saying. Um, and that's the only way he could possibly come back from this. Surely, surely that's the only way he could possibly come back from this. If it's, uh, if it's found to be true, which at this stage is looking like it's highly likely, then his career as a footballer at Manchester United will be over. There's no way that the, the club or the fans or anybody associated with the club would tolerate Mason Greenwood playing for Manchester United further beyond, well, tomorrow, further beyond today, if, um, you know, if, uh, if this situation is as it seems. So in terms of Mason Greenwood and what his future holds, I mean, listen, guys, he's 20 years of old age and he's already 
thrown it away. But he's not thrown it away because of his lack of football ability. He's thrown it away because, well, allegedly, he's not a very nice person, guys. And for that reason alone, we're better off without him. Doesn't matter how good somebody is at football. If they're a piece of shit, they're a piece of shit. And I don't want them representing a playing for Manchester United. Allegedly, piece of shit. Okay? So, uh... But in regards to his career and everything, I mean, look, who knows? Maybe he'll go on. There's been there's been plenty of footballers who've had lots of allegations against them in the past who have gone on to play for other teams. But in terms of playing for a top team, in terms of playing for a meaningful team, playing for Manchester United, I think his days are done at the club, guys, unfortunately. Smash a Y in the live chat if you agree with me that Mason Greenwood might... Well, might might be finished at this football club. So the title of this video is is you know Mason Greenwood is he finished? And um, I personally think that well he probably is because how do you come back from something like this? Um, and nobody wants him to come back from something like this if it's true, which allegedly you know allegedly I keep saying that fucking word. Let's just can we just maybe I should just pin the word allegedly at the top of the live chat and cover myself. But you know if it is true allegedly then none of us want anything to do with mason greenwood do you do we shazad ahmed says mason greenwood is finished thank you finley mccross and says oh shit we got 700 viewers in here no way fucking hell my my <laughs> crikey my chat thing was stuck on my uh phone here it said nine <laughs> i obviously knew there was more than nine in here but fuck me 700 people guys do us a favor smash that like on the video do leave a thumbs up if you're here for the first time. Also, if you are here for the first time, smash that subscribe button. We cover all the latest United news. We're a Man United fan channel, an independent fan channel. And we're also a no bullshit, no clickbait fan channel. So do get involved and hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel and you want to be kept up to date with all the latest United news in a no bullshit, no clickbait way. Nice one. Um, okay, right. So so let's just let's just let's just look at the facts, guys. So Manchester Evening News gave us a statement earlier. And and uh, the club said it's aware of the images and allegations, so they are fully aware of obviously the situation that's gone on. I mean, there are there are some other allegations coming out earlier, or uh, that I saw earlier of um, of a situation when Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was at the club that was kept hush in regards to Mason Greenwood and you know his ex and and some some similar stuff like this. Now that is just a hearsay I saw on Twitter, but it. There may be some basis to it, but I'm not going to talk about that right now anymore. But I'm just saying it's not, there is there is some other rumblings, or maybe it's just these, you know, people coming out of the woodwork now because of this. But they're trying, it's, there's not a very good picture being painted of Mason Greenwood here, is there? Let's be honest, guys. And there was a video of him with his ex, actually. I remember a couple of years ago when he was like 17? Very suspect. Even back then. It's like, man, he seemed, well, well, sus. That's all I would say back then. You know the video I'm talking about. Him in the car. It was accidentally posted on her Insta and they didn't realize the audio was on it. And he's like saying, he's like saying, are you ready? Do you want daddy's dick and all this stuff? Which, okay, fair enough. It's only harmless, whatever. You know, but... Still, bit of sus. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It seemed a bit of sus even back then. So, and he was 17 then. And so the fact that, you know, he, he, that, that audio has surfaced of him now, man, it just, it just makes me sick, to be honest, guys. It makes me absolutely sick um, that we've been supporting, if it's true, supporting somebody like that. Um, because, you know, I've said it a hundred times before in the past. I've, I've even said to you guys, like, many times, I think Mason Greenwood seems like a nice guy. That's what I said. I said, I like the set of players we've got the club. Rashford, Sancho, Greenwood. All, like, nice, positive, young, you know, happy, like, outgoing sort of guys, you know? Nice guys. But it just goes to show you, you cannot judge a book by its cover, allegedly, if it's true. <clears throat> so a spokesperson for the Red Devils said this. Manchester United do not condone any violence of any kind, but we wouldn't, but will not co make any further comments until the facts have been established. So that is actually very important, guys, to think about. You know, this is this is from a law point of view. These are just allegations at the moment. There's some evidence which has surfaced to suggest that Mason Green perhaps forced himself on his ex. That is the situation. But until that audio has been verified, until that has been 100% proven that it is Mason Greenwood and, uh, you know, and all that kind of thing, until there's a validation that's taken place here from the authorities, I guess, then... It is an allegation at the moment. That's the facts. Now, I'm not saying it's just an allegation. That's not what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong, but we have to just look at it from a legal point of view, from a uh, from a from a what is 
you know, from a what is actually factual point of view as well. And that's what the club are doing. Manchester United could easily come out and make a statement and say, yes, we've suspended Mason Greenwood and uh, we, we, we completely disagree with Get domestic there, uh, abuse and he's a piece of shit and all the rest of it. They could come out and make a statement like that, sure. Um, but there, it Mike might Scott. not actually be 100% accurate right now. That's why we have to make 100% sure with the situation that it is the case. And I'm not doubting anybody, but that is how it has to be, guys. You can't, uh, you can't, you know, you can't uh, do things by halves in regards to this. You can't do things by halves. Thank you very much for subscribing, guys. There's a few new subscribers we got in here. I appreciate you all getting in here. Matt Cannon, Bougea, Duveta Carte. Thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. Do hit that subscribe if you're new. And smash the like on the video. Give it a share around, guys, as well. Help spread the awareness of this. By the way, there are some domestic helpline numbers in the description down below for both men and women. Because it's not just women that receive domestic abuse either. You know, on this occasion, the allegations are, are that way. But it's not just that either. You know, I think it's a third of all domestic abuse cases, you know, are actually against men. And so from that point of view, you know, there's 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 numbers down in the, in the description below, guys, if you are experience any sort of domestic abuse because you don't have to stand for it and there is help out there there's there is there is ways of getting out of those situations and there is people you can talk to and so there's a couple of helplines down in the uh in the live chat sorry not in the live chat down in the description down below guys if you're in the uk anyway sorry if you're abroad you know um but if you're in the uk then there are uh there are some numbers down there for you so um yeah, the club's not making any further comment on it until more information comes out, but they say that they do not condone any violence of any kind. So Mason Greenwood has actually played 129 appearances so far for Manchester United and scored 35 goals since his debut in 2019. I think that's where it finishes, guys. I'm going to be honest. I think that's where it finishes. I don't think Mason Greenwood gets any more appearances for this football club based on what I've heard today. That's all I'm saying. Based on what I've heard, and if anything else comes out, you know, if anything else is released, I don't know. Then uh, but, 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 we, we will have to make a reassessment. But from what we know at this moment in time, he's basically a goner. He's basically done. You can't play for Manchester United and be that sort of person, unfortunately, guys. You just can't. Uh, let me get into the live chat. Uh, Ellie, thank you so much for getting in here with your thoughts and opinions here. Ellie says... Oh, crikey, we got the chat is absolutely whomping away. Hang on a sec. Let me find your comment again. Um, so this is the thoughts of Ellie, by the way, and, and not me. So I just want to be perfectly clear. And they may be the thoughts of me, but I, when I'm reading out everybody's comments, I just want to be perfectly clear. When I'm reading out everybody's comments here, I'm going to read your opinions and your thoughts. These are not the thoughts and opinions of me or this channel. I just want to let, let you perfectly clear, make you, you know, perfectly clear that that is what I'm doing here by reading your comments out. Ellie says, I said I believe it's genuine, but I also said if he's innocent, and at least one of my comments. There you go, there you go. So if it does turn out that he's innocent, then of course, everybody is going to have to, well, have a massive apology, aren't they? And, um, you know, we've all made up certain, uh, we've all made up certain stances or certain opinions in our mind now as well. And that is the problem. That is what, that's why you need due course. That's why you need to wait until all the facts and everything is out because there has been a lot of occasions in the past where people, let's face it, jump jump the gun, people jump on the bandwagon with something like that and all of a sudden it's a witch hunt. And uh, I'm not saying on this occasion that shouldn't be the case either, but I'm just saying that there's a, there is a small possibility, I suppose, that, 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 that he could still be innocent in all of this. As in, as in if the audio wasn't him or, you know, super, yada, 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 super. which I don't think's the case just to say, but, um, but we have to just be completely transparent, completely objective, look at it from a, you know, a, a point where, you know, let's face it, people can ruin other people by making certain allegations about them, which might not be true. And I'm not saying this person's done that at all, but that's, that's the reality of the situation. People can ruin other people by making certain allegations about them. Facts. So we have to wait until everything's been hundred percent proven here. Um, yeah, Finney McCrossan, mate. I heard David De Gea's unfollowed him. David De, uh, David De Gea, Finney McCrossan, thank you so much for the £2 super chat. He says, some of the players unfollowed, mate. I heard. So I've heard, I don't know if it's true, but I've heard that David De Gea and some other footballers at Manchester United have unfollowed Mason Greenwood, which in, in itself is massively damning, isn't it? Massively damning. So, because if that's the case, 
you can hear the audio and you can go, okay, maybe somebody's doing a best, a brilliant basic Greenwood impression there. But people who know him, know him, they know his voice, they know him. And if, if, they've, if they've listened to that and made up their own mind, then that is pretty damning, isn't it, guys? United Till I Die says, does the audio have his voice in it? Yes, it does. The audio does have his voice in it, mate. If it's him, well, allegedly. <laughs> like I want to say, allegedly, guys. Allegedly, that's Mason Greenwood's voice. So I have to be careful and say allegedly, because maybe it's not. But at this moment in time, allegedly, that is Mason Greenwood's voice. How many times have I said allegedly tonight? <laughs> you know, bloody hell today. Crikey. Um, audio is crazy. You know what? I listened to it when I woke up today, mate. And I was just absolutely disgusted, mate. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I was listening to, dude. I just didn't, it just it just wasn't ready for it, mate. It was absolutely horrible. Uh, this is, Pearl says, how can anyone defend him? It's embarrassing. I'm, I'm a United fan myself, uh, but terminate the contract. Uh, I, I agree. I agree. If, if it's if it's all found out to be 100% him in the audio and it's 100% true, which I'm, I've got no reason to doubt at this stage, um, other than the fact that it has to be you know proven and shown, obviously. But if that is the case, I'm 100% with you, Pearl. I think terminate the contract 100%. Pay the rest of his contract out. That's It's going to cost Manchester United money, but that's what you've got to do. You can't have somebody like that playing for you if it's true. Um, wonder if they heard some rumors via wives, girl talk. They just needed the proof, says Flabby G. Maybe, I mean, listen, what I would say is if, it, you know, let's actually get some love hearts in there for the victim here, guys, because I think it's very brave as well, because Mason Greenwood is in this spotlight, and there's a lot of people that will back Mason Greenwood to the hilt on over this, even, even you know, even if they think this is the, the case, just because, I don't know, because they're Manchester United through and through, they love Mason, I don't know. I'm still seeing people on social media sticking up for Mason Greenwood in all this, by the way. Um, and at this stage, it is just an allegation, so maybe there's some basis to it. But at the same time, I don't really understand how you can support somebody like that. Um, but let's get some love hearts in there for the victim, because ultimately, you know, there is a victim in all of this. Um, okay, so, yeah, mods having to keep up. Yeah, thank you to the moderators, guys. 1.7k people watching this stream right now. Holy crikey, thank you very much for joining, guys. Drop the like on the video. Let's see if we can get 300 likes. Give it a share around. Have your say in the chat. We're going to stay on here for a little while longer. And uh, and wait and see if there's any more breaking news about this as well. There may well be some updates released via the, throughout the show, uh, which gives us a bit more information on this. Or, or, at the moment, we just got like a, a promise of a statement from Manchester United, which is a statement, but it's not really a statement. It's 100. Uh, OK, fair enough. A lot of people in the live chat thinking it's definitely him. Um, I mean, it does it does seem like it's the case to me, guys. I find it a very disgusting piece of audio, mate, where you can't defend that. If that's him, he's a rapey piece of shit and he doesn't deserve to be in society. Never mind, you know, playing for Manchester United, in all honesty, because people like that, you know, are very dangerous, guys. People like that are very dangerous. Um, Rach, thank you for the love hearts. Thoughts on Donny to Everton? I guess I'll talk about that a bit later, Hader. I mean, there's bigger fish to fry at this moment in time, isn't there? Let's be honest. Donny to Everton, I couldn't give a toss about, to be fair, mate. <laughs> in all fairness. Um, Money Siddiqui says, um, why did she delete the pictures? I don't really know Money Siddiqui. I don't know if they have been deleted. Maybe they have. If That's the first you've, you've, I've heard of it. Maybe it's because of the backlash. Like I say, from her point of view, there must be a lot of Manchester United fans or just general people all around the world right now who are absolutely f flooding her inbox, probably with a lot of messages for her support. But also, I bet you, I bet you there's some horrible stuff coming through as well, because there's some pieces of shit out there, guys. And so from that point of view, maybe it's just, I don't know. I don't, I really don't have a good answer for you. Maybe it's a legal thing. Maybe it's, uh, you know, I don't know. Wiggy says probably Greenwood telling her to delete it. Let the police handle Greenwood, says Kingdom SG. Innocent until proven guilty, says Robert Cerseys. Well, that is true. But it's kind of like, you know, if we if we're being honest... It's it's damning evidence, guys. It's damning evidence, guys. That's all. We're, that's all we're going on. You know. That's all. That's all I can go on is the damning evidence that's there at the moment. If there's new evidence that surfaces, or it turns out that evidence is not real, then of course you can make a new assessment. But as things stand, with the current evidence, you you can't defend him. You can't defend him. Um, she deleted it for legal reasons. There you go, Groovy T. So for legal reasons, it has been deleted. Absolutely. The police would have told her to take them down, up. right? Yeah, that makes perfect sense, Declan Kerr. I think it would have been from that from that legal point of view as well. Get Steve Nichols says he's up. a monster, worse than Giggs. Well, Steve Nichols, I mean, you know, from the Giggs point of view as well, you bring up Get somebody else there up. who's uh, who's a you know domestic abuser. He recently was sent down for 
for for yeah for, for assaulting a woman. Up. So from that point of view, you know, like I said, like I said, guys, Get this club is going through up. a bad bad uh, period at the moment in terms of our image, not just on the pitch and all that kind of stuff, but there, like our up. image, you know. Uh, our legends of the club, people like Giggsy and what he's done, obviously, I'm not going to get into his, get in there, my son. his affairs and stuff. I mean, you know, his his personal life, whatever he does, that's, you know, he, there, that's one son. thing. That's not forcing yourself upon somebody or beating somebody up. Those are two different things. Get in so, there, my son. But from, yeah, but just seeing as you mentioned Giggsy, I mean, yeah, this is a lot get worse, there, mate. I mean, son. that audio is horrible. I mean, imagine if that was your son or your... Or your daughter. Put it either way. There, I don't have son. a son or daughter, personally. But I'm just saying, if I had a son and they grew up and they were 20, and that was my son doing that, fuck it, I'd give him a stone-cold stunner right out the fucking door. And I tell you what, that, 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 would, that, would, that would be it. Because what, what is it? What is it? What is that? What is that? It's, a dis, it's, a, it's just a disgusting mentality and a disgusting character, to be perfectly honest with you guys. And if it was your daughter, if it was the other way around, and somebody was speaking to... Your daughter that way. My goodness me. I tell you what. Never mind a stone cold stunner. You get a fucking stone cold grenade out the fucking door, there, wouldn't you? So, um, so yeah, you have to look at it from that point of view, guys, that there's no defending get this there, if son. it's true. There's no defending this if it's true. Uh, thank you, Stephen Carr, for being a member get for 11 there, months son. of the channel, mate. Really appreciate you, bud. He says, innocent until proven guilty, but there's too much evidence. The Get recording there, alone indicates it wasn't the first time. Hope he gets the book thrown at him. Fair play to you, Stephen Carr, mate. Thank Get you very much there, for your son. comment there. And I agree, innocent until proven guilty. And that's why we're saying, saying allegedly and all these types of things. Um, but like I say, that evidence of that recording is very damning, like you say there, Stephen Carr, mate. And if it is the case, then yes, absolutely. I hope he does get the, the book thrown at him, both from a point of view of having his, you know, time at Manchester United ended. And also from the point of view as legally, let's face it, there's a crime that's taken place if that's the case. Hey, thank you, Andy, Spider, Peter, Watt, Games, Okalia, Deborah, Mally, OJ. Everyone, thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. Nice one, guys. Yeah, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. We cover all the latest United news, guys, in a, in a no bullshit, no clickbait way. Get involved, smash the subscribe. Also, smash the like button, help us out, because there's a lot of clickbait merchants out there and a lot of corporation channels as well. So if you like the independent channel like this, smash the subscribe and, and like it. Nice one. Okay. Right then, guys, let's, let's, let's get into the chat then. Let's get into the chat and just open it up to everybody in here. Uh, if there's more stuff that comes out in regards to statements and things like that, we will give you the latest, latest breaking news. Oh, by the way, we have got a little bit more information. Nike have released a statement. Ah, oh. Nike or Nike have, re have responded to allegations against Manchester United forward Mason Greenwood. Nike have released a statement addressing allegations. Um, so uh, it says a woman uploaded pictures to social media alleging the England international had caused her harm. As part of the allegations, Greenwood 20 was mentioned in a series of posts by a young woman which showed graphic detail of injuries she claimed to have been inflicted by the United Academy graduate. Nike have released a statement now um, which reads... We are deeply concerned by the disturbing allegations and will continue to closely monitor the situation. So in terms of, you know, sponsorships and things like that, you know, it's not looking good for Mason Greenwood, is it, at all? The club are aware of the images and allegations circulating. We will not make any further comment until the facts have been established. So we don't know how long that's going to take, guys, in terms of, you know, them being 100% confident of the facts and how things stand. Like we've said, the evidence that we've got to go on right now is very damning. Uh, can we can we hide that Mike Handler prick in the chat, please? What a scumbag. Mojo Ryder says, if Nike is dissing you over the abuse, then you have really fucked up. Yeah, well, Nike Nike's one of those companies that, you know, if somebody, if somebody does something like that, they don't want to have their brand and image tarnished, just like Manchester United don't want to have a brand and image tarnished. You're talking about billion billion dollar organizations here you know you can't have your brand and, and tarnished it's like john jones at the ufc you know the, the the light heavyweight fighter you know all these hit and run hitting a pregnant woman in his car and running off drugs and stuff it didn't take long for nike to drop john jones from sponsorship did it because it came to the point where he's not that clear clear clean cut athletic professional individual no he seems like a piece of shit and, and nike don't want a piece of shit as their you know as their ambassadors really so um, in terms of uh, in terms of the situation there, obviously the sponsors released a statement, so they're not happy with the situation at all. As you can imagine, 
as you can imagine, guys, if you're a sponsor and you're connected in any way to any player, then, uh, and this comes out, crikey, it's not going to be good for your brand, is it? It doesn't look good, says FIFA Don. It looks absolutely awful. Next Tiger Woods, oh man. Let the investigation play out, says Daniel Farr. He won't be near the club till it's settled. Respect for the law, respect for the victims. I 100% agree with you, Daniel Farr. I 100% agree with you, mate. 100% agree with you, dude. So, um, yes, that's all we can go on. We're, we're just talking about hypothetically, you know, if he is found guilty, what are the ramifications? What are the repercussions? And equally, if he's not found guilty, what are the repercussions? What are the ramifications? And if he's not found guilty, then, like I say, it, 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 well, if that if that isn't him in the audio, if that isn't him, then obviously he deserves a, a, a big apology, doesn't he? But unfortunately, guys, from my point of view, allegedly that is him. And I personally think if it is him, then he's a piece of shit and should have been playing for Manchester United, guys. There you go. Um, okay, let's just get into the chat here, guys. Uh, again, thank you everyone once again for joining us. We have got other Manchester United news about, you know, Donny van der Beek joining Everton and some other stuff. But I, I just, it doesn't feel right to talk about it in this video, guys. I'll come back on later on with a transfer news video and, you know, give you the, 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 the update on it. But let's just talk about this topic and this topic alone in this video because this is a pretty heavy topic. Um, okay, so BBC website four minutes ago, update. They're always, they're a little bit slow on the curve, aren't they, BBC? Let's be honest. Let's just hear what BBC's article says, though, to be fair. So, Manchester United's Mason Greenwood accused of assaulting woman. That is the main thing. Accused, accusations, allegations, nothing proved Get right now. There, That's the key words we need to use. Police say they are working to establish the full circumstances there, after son. a woman accused Manchester United footballer Mason Greenwood of assaulting her. On Sunday, video, Get photos, there, and an son. audio recording were posted on the woman's Instagram account before being deleted. Greater Manchester Police said Get it was aware myself. of images and videos circulating on social media. Manchester United said they do not condone violence of any kind. There, they son. said they've been made aware of the allegations on social media, but would make no further comment until the facts have been established. Mason there, Greenwood son. has not responded to the allegations. The 20-year-old footballer who made his debut for the club in March 2019 signed there, a four-year deal in February 2021 after rising up through the ranks of the United Academy. Get in there, my son. So, yeah, that is it, guys. That is it. Let me get into the chat, then. That's the situation. Let's get hear your there, thoughts. And son. once again, I'm going to say this. my Be careful what you say, guys, because there is an investigation going on with the police, get and police there, are son. investigating this. So be careful what you say. Respect the victims, res, re, you know, res, re, or the victim. Respect that. There, and be son. careful what you say, guys. That's what I was saying in the live chat. And also, um, you know, the thoughts get and there, what I'm son. reading out over the next few minutes are the thoughts of people in the live chat and not my own and not this Get channels there, just want to make that perfectly clear right okay mm. wiggy says there, forgot son. about the iceland stuff well that's another thing isn't it mason greenwood over in uh Get in there, my son. over in iceland when he was with the england international team um well him and was it foden super, was it foden or something chat. else had a couple of icelandic ladies into into their hotel room didn't they and he actually got suspended from england duty for that and it's kind of like man you know i mean look he, he's a young lad you know i can i can that's that's that that sort of thing's not gonna bother me too much guys at all he's a young lad but when it comes down to you know these these rapey allegations when it comes down to audio that's being released like that that stuff does bother me that does bother me you know consensual you know, um, sex between two adults, that doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying, guys? That doesn't bother me. It's it's the it's the opposite it's the opposite of that that bothers me, guys, you know. <clears throat> Has Foden unfollowed him, says first class gamer. Benjamin Mendy 2.0 says hypnosis. Oh no, well, this is it, guys. This is it. I mean, we were all having a laugh at City recently, calling them, you know, prison FC or whatever, and saying, oh. Another prison FC's got another sign in and all that. But unfortunately, you know, this is what I'm saying about the, the, the profile of Manchester United. It's uh it's been tarnished recently. You know, Giggsy's just been sent big Giggsy went to jail for fuck's sake. And uh and of course now Mason, um, which we is alleged is alleged at the moment and is not hundred percent, you know, he's he's innocent until proven guilty as it stands. Well, Rach says audio and visual evidence doesn't get clearer than that, says Rach. Uh, IQ Defcon, all they were doing were eating Haribos with the models all night in Iceland, says IQ Defcon. Okay, but it, you know, <laughs> like I say, somebody mentioned that in the chat. It's just another, it's not really, that's not really, I don't have a problem with that, but it's just another little 
notch on the character here. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about all that video of him with his ex in the car that was accidentally posted on Instagram where he seems a little bit sus and stuff like that. And now this, it just doesn't paint a very good picture, does it? Matt Deckler says the recordings were done without consent. It would not be valid in court. Um, I'm not so sure about that, Matt, to be honest. I mean, we've got we've got a couple of uh, law, pretty, pretty experienced lawmen in here. I don't know if uh, you could clear that up first class or somebody else, but uh, has the so first class gamer says has the official Man United website removed his images, etc. Can you check, Big? Let me go and have a look. I will check and see if Man United's removed his images. I don't know if they'll quick if they'll act that quickly, my friend. I'll be honest. Let's click on players, um, and have a look. Current players, get in there, my son. Forwards. He's still on there. Get he's still on there, guys. Son. Number 11. He's still on the website. Man, that is... Get in there, my son. That is weird. If you click on Mason Greenwood's profile, there's a quote on there, and it says this. I want to show everyone there, what son. I can do, really. I just want to show everyone why I'm here. Fucking hell. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? That's Mason Greenwood's quote on the website. Fucking hell. Well, you sh you've p allegedly sh potentially shown us. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> crikey. Um, so there you go, guys. There you go, guys. That he, he's still on Man United's website. Yes, there's no new news uh, statement on manunited.com. And in fact, I didn't even see the, uh, the... I don't think they even put the statement on their actual website. I could be wrong on that one. Um, but I've just seen, you know, via Manchester Evening News and various other places that the club gave a statement. So I don't even know if they've got it on their website, the, 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 the statement. Um... Thugger says, oh, this story will get Piggy to 100k subs. I don't know about that Thugger 007, but guys, do us a big favor, though, and hit that subscribe if you are new. There's 2,000 legends in here. Uh, we are an, uh, a Man United fan channel. We cover all the latest news, and we're an alternative to some of the clickbait shite as well. So uh, if you're enjoying the vibe, get involved. Um, there's a lot of people commenting, though, so I'm trying to keep up with the chat. I'll do my best. It's, let's, get in, let's get into it. He may attempt to settle out of court, but it will be costly. On the other hand, this is a criminal case. The pol police won't give up so easily, says Ikra. We are short of forwards now, says Lynette Giggs. Hope we can get a midfielder and another forward to top four. Well, you know, if you're talking about it from a football point of view, you're absolutely right, Lynette. We are without another player. I didn't even, you know what? I didn't even really think about that. You know, because because you're absolutely right, though. This is this is This is just another... Awful situation for United. We just loaned out Tony Martial, of course. Listen, I don't... It's secondary, isn't it? I'm going to be honest. I don't want to dwell on that. It's super, secondary. But facts are the facts. We lost the star player here. This kid... This kid's supposed to go on and win a future ban on door, mate. You know what I'm saying? So, um... It's bad, isn't it? It's bad, isn't it? So he was supposed to... I said to in the past, Mason Greenwood will win a Ballon d'Or in the future. Ballon d'Or. He's more likely to win a fucking soap on the floor now. But I'll tell you what. It's not... It's not... Um, it's not funny, is it, actually? Anyway, uh, but we try and find levity in situations, man. Anyway, Simon Cowie with an 899 Super Chat. Thank you very much for getting in here with your thoughts, bro. He says, Pig, I hate that sort of thing, but I'm 50-50. And Greenwood is innocent until proven guilty. Remember the Johnny Evans claim when he played for us and he was proven innocent? Great shout. Great shout, Simon Cowie. I agree entirely, right? I agree entirely. Apart from, there is damning evidence on this occasion. So I feel you, Simon. Cristiano Ronaldo, a couple of years ago, when he was in, I think it was in Las Vegas, had allegations against him. Somebody accused him of rape. Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, and, uh, you know, he spoke about it in his, in his uh, documentary and he was he was crying and he was very emotional about it. Because when somebody alleges something against you like that, which is one of the worst things you can be accused of, and it's not true, man. I mean, that is, you know, that's as bad as, well, I'll be careful what I say, but it's, you know, it's really terrible. <laughs> it's, really, it's, it's really, it's really terrible for somebody to do that the opposite direction as well. And so you're absolutely right, Simon. You've got to be aware of the fact that everybody is innocent until proven guilty here and in a court of law, obviously. So I, I agree, but, but there is just a little bit of damning evidence here. I mean, if there was audio of Cristiano Ronaldo saying what Mason Green was alleged to have said. I don't think we'd have that same stance on Cristiano Ronaldo either, mate. I think we'd have all realised that, you know, there's evidence there to suggest that maybe there is some basis to that, those allegations. On Ronaldo's, you know, stance, and like you say, Johnny Evans, various other ones, I mean, I personally just don't think that's the case. 
you know, and obviously it's been proven not. But in regards to this situation with the alleged audio of allegedly Mason Greenwood speaking, it's damning. It's very damning. If that's confirmed to be him, which it seems like it, then that, what, what more do you need, really? What more do you need? Ryan says, take your punishment, Mason. Go to jail. Do your time. Think about your actions. Come out a better man. You're still young with life ahead of you. We all done things we aren't proud of in life. I mean, that's a good, that's a true, that's a true, that's a true point there, Ryan. It's a true point. I mean, people super, can be rehabilitated. That is supposed to be the point of jail and things like that. I mean, then again, certain things. Hey, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go down the road. AMK with a 3699 car super chat, man. Thank you so much. He says, hello, I want to point out this. Boateng was found guilty with domestic uh, violence, led his partner to commit suicide and continue playing football. We really need to scope on these footballers. AMK, I did not know that. AMK, that is absolutely disgusting if that's the case, mate. What? Found guilty of domestic violence. Fuck you now. Well, that's an allegation that you've put in the chat there, AMK. <laughs> no, maybe it's, it's not an allegation, but you know what I'm saying. I, 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 that's your words. But either way, that may well be the case. I don't know anything about that. But that's terrible, mate. And how is that being brushed under the carpet? Why would, if he's been found guilty of domestic violence, why would, you know, I'm guessing it's Bayern. You're talking about, uh, which Boateng brother are you talking about here? You're talking about Jerome or, or Kevin Prince or who you talk about. But either way, whoever it was, yeah, I don't see how a football club could stick by somebody who's been found guilty of something like that. Now, I don't know the situation with Boateng at all. So, you know, I can only talk about it from what you've just told me. But... You know, I don't see how a football club could stand by anybody. 2K viewers. Yes, we've got 2,000 people in here right now. Thank you for joining. 500 likes as well on the video. Smash that like button, guys, if you're just joining. Gary says it sounds like him, and she says his name in the audio. True, Gary. True, Gary. But, um, you know, it's, it's still it's still alleged at this point. And I can make my mind up, and you can make your mind up, and we all have. We all have. But it's still alleged at this point, isn't it? Until there's been, uh, uh, you know, like an audio vocal specialist or whatever that they need to get involved here to 100% confirm that it is Mason. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time, you know, there's, 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 there's been uh, some, I don't know. Uh, well, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but anyway, um, Bananas and Grapes has stopped saying he might be innocent. There is audio of him. Dude, I've listened to the audio of Bananas and Grapes. So what are you saying, Bananas and Grapes? Are you saying there's not a tiny, tiny, small possibility that that's not Mason Greenwood in that video? Because you'd be foolish to think that. I personally think that it is him, right? Okay, that is my that is my own opinion. But in the audio, I mean. But who knows? Like, you know, have you never heard of anybody doing an impression of somebody else? I'm just saying, like, guys, I'm not saying that it's not real. I personally... You know, my personal opinion is that it is, right? But I'm just saying people have done stuff like that before in the past. Uh, he should be punished. TSA pieces, Drew Singh. The fact other players have unfollowed him is damning. That's the main thing I'd like to bring up as well, Jay. You know, De Gea's unfollowed him. A couple of people are supposed to have unfollowed the guy. I mean, that is that is in itself. If those players have listened to that audio and they know it's Mason and they've unfollowed him, well, that's all that they need to know, really. Me and you, we don't speak to Mason Greenwood on the phone every day. We don't speak to the guy. We don't know exactly what he sounds like. We might hear him in the interviews and stuff, but we don't know the, the intricacies of, you know, um, of his voice, is what I'm saying. So, But the people who do, if they've shunned him, if they've, um, you know, if they've, if they've unfollowed him and all that kind of stuff, then that in itself is very damning. But yet, you're right, audios can be edited. Yeah, and there, just for the son. record, just for the record, I personally don't think it has been. I'm just going to be totally honest. I personally don't think it has been. Case Get later there, says son. the law will handle this. Exactly, first class gamer. First class gamer is a, a, a copper Get or an ex- there, or sorry, you know, Sorry for, for, for giving your cover away there. But he says it might be him in the audio. In it there, could be spliced. Son. Who knows? There you go. It could be spliced. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just don't know. And Get I'm not there, saying that, son. guys. I'm not saying that. But you, there is a little thing called innocent until proven guilty super, and so you have to give everybody chat. a fair fair chance a fair trial obviously but it does seem like it's him and if it is him i would say if it is him guys then you know being sacked off by manchester united and having his contract terminated isn't really enough in my opinion you know because you're talking about it's from a it's a domestic abuse assault you know it's a crime it's an actual human crime that he's that he would have allegedly committed on another person and for that reason you know it, it shouldn't just be oh you're sacked from your job no i mean you're gonna have to do hard time aren't you if that found if that's found to be 
true, if that audio is found to be 100% Mason Greenwood, he's going to have to do time, isn't he? When, when he go, surely he's going to go to, surely, well, we don't know, but I would imagine uh, he's going to have to do time. <laughs> That's what I would say. AMK says, Kia, Kia, with a 729, he says it was Jerome. He paid 2.5 million euros to the victim. Ah, oh, that's the thing as well, you know, with these, these, these people with the money, they can just make things go away with hush money, can't they? That's another thing you've got to take into consideration. Yeah, CJ Arson says, I will wait for the judge to make a ruling. Thank you, AMK, for that, by the way. I've no interest in the court of public opinion. Look what happened to Johnny Depp. Great comment there, Jay, uh, CJ. Great comment there, uh, CJ. And that's it. Like I said, like we said earlier on, you know, domestic abuse, it does go both ways. That's why we've got down in the description two helplines, one for men and one for women down there. Um, yeah. Get fined. That is all, says Edward Samuma. The images are there too, says Case Later 23. Absolutely. Yeah, I've seen the images as well. I've seen the images as well. Um, I mean, uh, again... It's alleged. Again, they're alleged images. I'm I'm using that word carefully, guys. It, like you might think, oh, uh, for some reason this makes me sound like I'm I'm not believing of what's going on. No, that's not the case. I have my opinion. I've told you what it is, but at the same time, there is a due process here. Due process. There is a due process that has to be done. Um, hi there, Anamorphs. What's going on, mate? How you doing? Thank you for getting in here. Ballon d'Or slope on the floor. Says Stuart Morris. I know, mate. Yeah, he's gone from the Ballon d'Or to the soap on the floor. That's the problem. <sighs> Fair play, Rushi says we shouldn't take any actions before proving that Greenwood is guilty. Absolutely. And that's exactly the stance that Manchester United Football Club has taken also, as you can see from this statement here. So I just realised it's right in my front of my face there, man. <laughs> anyway, statement issued by Manchester United. I'll just continue the video like this, shall I, guys? Hello. No, it's right in front of my face there. What's it doing? Statement issued by Manchester United. We are aware of the uh, images and allegations circulating on social media. We will not make any further comment until the facts have been established. So that's what they're dealing in. You know, they're not dealing in ifs, ands, buts, and maybes, as that Scouse lad would say. They're dealing in facts. And um, that's what we need to know. Let the law handle it. There could be a twist. Precisely. You just don't know, do you? I'm with you, sir. I'm with you, sir. Would you take Dembele at United, says Zohabe? I mean, now I would. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, Zohabe? Now I would take Dembele at United. Guys, smash a one in the chat if you would sign Dembele now on a season-long loan until the end of the season. I think we fucking need him now. Now we've got rid of um, uh, Martial on loan, and now this situation has uh, presented itself with Mason Greenwood. Crikey, I feel like we bloody need Usman Dembele now, guys, you know? We're, we're, we're screwed in those winger areas. Ahmad Diallo's out on loan to Rangers. I don't know if he can be recalled if, there is, if, if they paid a fee. Young Wizards has laughed my ass off, yeah. One, lots of ones coming in the live chat. So yeah, take him for free, not going to lie. Exactly, get him on a get him on a, a loan to the end of the season. Yeah, Lynette Giggs is very disappointed with him. Well, if, if you know, yeah. You would sign Dembele now with a CDM, says Kumaran Selva Kumar. Definitely, mate. It's wishful thinking, though, isn't it, to think that United would actually do good business in this window. But that's what we need to do now. We've got to get a wide player in. Yes, we've still got Jaden Sancho. We've still got Rashford and Alanga. And there are other players that can play. There's still Lingards at the club at the moment. You know, Juan Mata has played on the wide position sometimes. I don't like him there, but he does play. He has played there. So we've got some players who can play, but really we are strengthening. We are, we need to strengthen in that area now too. If Mason's not going to be playing for us, he's actually been a really big player for us over the last couple of seasons. Diogo Santos, great comment. He says, got to be judged innocent until proven guilty like everybody else, but football players and powerful people overall got to start to be judged and serve time like everybody. Terminate contract if true. Exactly, if true. Diogo Santos, spot on. And you're so right. It has to be go, gone through the courts and judged like anybody else. And, um, and yeah, what is it with these people who've got money? They could just make stuff go away, man. It's absolutely wrong. Bring Martial back or sign Rafinha, says Zachary. That's a good shout, yeah. I mean, we, we could do it with Martial back now. What a proper egg on our face, man. Loaning Martial out. And now this happens. Yeah, ONG says, can give young players too much of a big contract. They go crazy. I mean, I feel you, Ong. But also, no. At the same time, because... I'm sorry to say, you could give me £10 million tomorrow. I'm not going to go and rape somebody, mate. You know, like, I'm sorry to say, it doesn't it doesn't change you that much as a person. It might make you a bit arrogant. It might make you like the finer things in life. You might be a bit of a prima donna. You might only like to drink fucking, uh, I don't know, Cristal champagne instead of fucking baby champ. But I don't think it's going to make you be that much of a piece of shit person where you 
where you change that much. I think that's just in somebody. I think that's within somebody, you know? And so, you know, look at all the footballers that have had great careers and who've been given loads of money. David Beckham. David Beckham. David Beckham's one, right? Super, David Beckham. Super, isn't David, yeah. David Beckham seems like a pretty nice guy to me, yeah? He's a superstar. He's had so much money, so much. He can, you can have a more life. superstar life than David Beckham. But he he hasn't he seems pretty well rounded to me you know maybe he's you know got a, maybe he's a bit up himself sometimes or you know you know he he had a he, there, you know I don't know but I, but it doesn't affect you that much does it it doesn't change you that much as a person get in there my son uh, Niloy Niloy Biswas thank you so much for the hundred rupee super chat here he says get if Sir there, Alex was still in charge he would have said get the fuck out my club son I don't want to see your face again. Uh, well, there. Niloy, if true, he definitely would have said that. I agree. And to be fair, if we'd just listened to that Get audio, he might have said that as well. Thank you, George, for subscribing. And Danny Al and Kevin, Anime Zone, Bican, Cons, there, Albert. Thanks for hitting the subscribe button. We've got off a bunch of subscribers throughout this show, guys. Please do continue to hit that subscribe button. We'll be bringing you all the latest United news throughout the day and in the run-up to the, uh, the close of the January transfer window tomorrow. Um, plus all the latest on this whole Mason Greenwood situation. So... Yes, do make sure you get yourselves subscribed and click that little bell icon so you get notified when we post and go live because we'll be bringing you all the latest as it happens. So we've only got we've got another statement from, as I say, if, you, if you've only just got in there, was also a statement from Nike as well. Nike not happy about the situation either and they're, they're looking into it basically and they're, they're, uh, they, they've said that they are disgusted. Well, no, they haven't actually. Let's just be completely, let's actually read their statement out verbatim. Otherwise, I'm putting words in Nike's mouth, aren't I? This is what they said. Nike came out and said, um, they released a statement and they said this. Get in there, my son. Um, Get in there, my son. Where has it gone? But there was a statement released by Nike earlier anyway. I can't find it now. I actually can't find it now. But either way, they did basically release a statement. They're not too happy. Not too happy. But anyway, (laughs) let's get into the live chat now, peeps. Uh, again, we're going to wrap this video up soon, but um, just wanted to stay on here for a bit in case any other information came out and broke throughout the show. I mean, we're still waiting for major publications to sort of give us more info. It is on the BBC website now, though. So, you know, that the, the Man United's Mason Greenwood is accused of assaulting a woman. So that is on the BBC. It was only on, you know, what I would say, you know, various sort of lesser outlets earlier on, but now the mainstream media is covering it. So it's definitely... The situation is as it is really that he's been investigated for these allegations against him. That is the situation, yeah. We need to get Armad Diallo back on loan, mate. So uh, so Bruno Fernandes has praised Armad Diallo. He had a great impact, obviously, his first game against Rangers. We need to get him back now, don't we? And Tony Martial. Like, seriously, we're going to be without a winger here. We're without a winger. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, hey, thank you very much for that, by the way. Yeah, I agree, though, Neloy. So Alex Ferguson would say, get out my club, son. <sighs> Sonic Quantum, what's going on? Says Greenwood is a disgrace, assuming this is all 100% true. That's it. We're only, that's it, guys. Just want to make it clear. My opinions on Mason Greenwood of him being a piece of shit are solely based on it being true. So, yes, which is what we're, 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 you know, we're going on at the moment. Hope the victim is okay and in a safer space. To everyone who questioned why the victim didn't do this sooner, Google Stockholm Syndrome. Precisely, yes, yeah, Sonic Quantic, you're absolutely right, man. I agree with you. And and often the times, you know, often the times are, you know, you, 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 people love their abusers, don't they? People love their abusers. They've got in a relationship and being with those people because they love them. And if they're getting abused by them, then, you know, they're, 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 they're obviously a lot likely to tolerate that for a period of time. That's 100% true. Or stay quiet about it because of how they feel. But really, you know, what I would say, I mean, there's 1,613 people watching this stream right now. The chances are that there's probably somebody out there watching this chat that is actually experiencing domestic abuse. So, um, you know, what, what I would say is, there is, there is, there is ways out. There is people you can talk to. There is help you can get. Down in the description, we've got telephone numbers there. You can phone for uh, domestic abuse helplines in the UK. But also, like what you were saying about the situation, like it's not easy. It's not easy to get out of those situations for a lot of people. You can't. It's yeah. There is ways of getting out, but it's not easy to get out. You know, there's a lot of uh, emotional turmoil. Some people are trapped. Some people are trapped, guys, in relationships by people and stuff. So. It's very much not uh it's very much not as clear cut as you know, it's a very difficult situation, but yeah. 
Uh, happy for Donnie, says Moody Blues. Okay, on a positive note, I'll talk about it very quickly then, soon as you brought it up. Um, but on a positive note, Donny van der Beek will be joining Everton, it seems like it, on a, uh, on a remainder of the season loan. So um, we have got a bit of information on that, but it's nothing. we haven't seen any official confirmation. Oh, here it is. <laughs> there is the official confirmation. Sorry, I was just waiting for it from the football club. Yeah. But anyway, we have got official confirmation. Donny van der Beek to Everton, done deal and confirmed. The decision has been made. Here we go. Donny confirmed a few minutes ago his choice to Lampard. Everton joined the race yesterday. As revealed, they will cover full salary until June plus loan fee. So, yeah, it was confirmed a couple of hours ago. Actually, I've just been completely uh, <laughs> completely looking into all this stuff. Right. Okay, then. So, uh, so yes, Everton had an agreement with Donny. They're paying 100% of his wages until June, guys. This is surreal, isn't it, guys? It's absolutely surreal. Uh, it's so surreal to have one of our star players accused of something like this. And not just accused, but for there to, to be at this moment in time alleged evidence of them, you know, being very disgusting. Um, it's just absolutely surreal, guys. It's not a good day. It's not a good day at all for Manchester United as a club or as a fan base. Um to have to deal with this right now and have to deal with uh, with the effects that it's going to have as well on the reputation, on the brand and on the team, on the players, you know, having having the fact that we're, we're going to lose a player and also on the victim, guys, that's the biggest thing that I would say. You know, let's once again get some love hearts in there for the alleged victim right now, guys, because there's somebody here that allegedly has uh, received abuse and, um, you know, it is very sad. Uh, um, that's the most disgusting thing. Like I say, you know, if you look at it from the point of view, if, if it was your son speaking that way, or if it was your daughter who's being spoken to that way, then, you know, your emotions would feel, you would feel the emotions that I'm feeling because I don't even have any kids either, but I'm just saying you, there's, the, 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 it's just despicable. It's absolutely despicable. That audio recording is despicable. There's no other word for it. Right. Okay. So, guys, we're going to stay on here just for a few minutes. Have your final say in the live chat. Do get involved. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Get involved in the live chat at the end of the stream here. Once again, guys, drop the like on the video if you're new. Let's see if we can get 700 likes on this stream. We're on 650 now. Let's see if we can get seven. Also, hit the subscribe button if you're new. We'll be on here throughout the rest of the transfer window, giving you all the latest updates and breaking news of, of all the latest transfers and loans and all the rest of it. But we'll also give you all the latest news and breaking information in regards to this situation too, in regards to Mason Greenwood. Yeah, the big guy with the love hearts. Ellie, what's going on? Ellie says, I agree why not enough help for male victims. Spot on, Ellie. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you, you know. Men suffer in silence a lot more as well. Um, you know, as, as you've discussed before with me, you know, men suffer in silence because it's like, uh, I don't know, there's almost a stigma about it. It's like, you, for some reason, you've got to be tough if you're a bloke. You can't reach out. You can't seek help. You know, you can't be uh, downtrodden by a woman or whatever. You know, you can't be abused. It's like, it's, there's some sort of stigma that goes with it. And it's wrong. So if there is anybody out there that's experiencing that, there is a helpline down for men below in the live chat in the description. Go go speak to somebody, guys. Anyway, Johnny Depp says Paul Simon. Well, yeah, the Johnny Depp uh, situation as well. Mate, that sounds proper messed up. You know, that sounds proper messed up, man. Mr. says, burn your man, you shirts. It's not about green. I mean, she seems like, uh, you know, in terms of, what's her name? Amber Heard, is it? Allegedly, she's a fucking psycho. <laughs> right, there you go, anyway. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're right, you know. You're, 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 that's... Anyway, everybody's, everybody deserves due process because a lot of people are writing Johnny Depp off. Anyway, <laughs> I don't, I don't, listen, I don't know enough about that situation. I better be quiet. I better be quiet because I don't actually know enough about that situation. I'm not really big into... You know, following the the, the 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 personal lives of celebs like that. <clears throat> Peter Helmore says, yeah, especially boarding school. What a waste of such a talent if allegations are true, Piggy. Ah, oh, totally, Timothy. He's thrown his life away if, that, if it's true. If it was my daughter, says Overfloater. Yeah, oh I, oh, I know how you feel, bro. He would have been deaf, dead. Yeah, I, 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 I relate to you, uh, Overflow. I think it's disgusting, isn't it? Imagine somebody talking to your daughter that way if you had an audio recording of somebody talking to that da your daughter that way. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a stupid comment, bananas and grapes. Please, you know, nothing. Social media hasn't made anybody a rapist. 
you know, uh, you know, that's a ridiculous statement. It's a ridiculous statement. I mean, the, the real situation is, you know, is uh, it's it's within people, I think. It's it's within people. You either are that way inclined or you're not. That's honestly what I believe. You know, that's honestly what I believe. Um, okay. Jimmy Jones also, be careful in the live chat, mate. People getting uh <laughs> be be careful about what you guys are saying in the live chat here, guys. Rashford, Lingard, and Sancho were friends with Greenwood, and some fans would blame them, says Kumaran Silva. Kumar, I see what you're saying, but no, you can't. I'm sorry, they're not they're not there knowing what's going on behind closed doors. They see Mason at the training ground. They might go on holiday with Mason. They might go to the Get bar with Mason. Myself. They might hang out with Mason. They're not in bed with Mason and his partner um, seeing what behavior is going on. Myself. So, no, they, they it's, uh, the only thing that they should feel bad about is the fact that up until now, they didn't know Get that, there, you know, potentially that's the sort of person they were dealing with, potentially, allegedly. So um, that's the only thing Get that they should there, feel son. bad about in that sense. I don't see how they've got any responsibility whatsoever. They, 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 they can't, they can't control the actions of another person like that. They just can't. <clears throat> uh, guys, thank you for subscribing. Rashad, Kyle, Stevie Go Studios, Matthew Cast, Joby TV. Hey, Retro Unlimited, how are you doing, boss? That yeah, Retro Unlimited says Pig. If she didn't post it for your social media, it would have been masked behind a super injunction. I mean, we don't know that Retro Unlimited. We don't know that that would be the case. We don't know that. I, I'd like to think that you're you're uh, you're wrong. I'd like to think that if the club found out about this behind closed doors, that they wouldn't tolerate it. But we don't know that. Um, so you know, but what you're saying is not. We don't know that tr for, for true. What you're saying. Yeah, Berber says think about what you're saying before you post the message, guys. Diogo Santos has got to be judged innocent until proven guilty like anybody else. But football players and powerful people overall got to start being judged and serve their time. Totally agree with you. Wiggy says we've got nearly 700 likes. Get in there, everyone. Smash the like. Super chats missed. Oh, shit. So sorry, guys. Let me go and have a look, guys. Well, I've missed a bunch of super chats. Let's go and have a look. So sorry, guys. The chat is absolutely moving today. Let me get in and look at these super chats. Um... Guys, you're not going to believe this, but we've actually hit 51k subs. I can't believe that, guys. We must have gone up about 130 or something during this show. What the fuck? Well, thank you very much, everyone, for hitting the subscribe button. We've hit 51k. Crikey. Guys, um, yeah, uh, hit the subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you're, uh, if, you're, if you're not, if you're just getting in as well. Uh, let's just find these super chats, guys. Apologies, I missed them. Right, let me find them here. Okay. So, uh, here we go. King Face, thank you for the super chat, bro. King Face comments, men's careers get ruined. The rich are going to avoid Western girls eventually. Hashtag facts. King Face, what, so, what, do you, what are you implying with that comment, mate? That is a weird comment. King Face, you know, you're very sus yourself with your comments in the chat recently, King Face. Just going to say it now. Western girls, why, what are you saying? What you, I'm not even going to respond to that. You're just in, you're insinuating something that you shouldn't be insinuating, King Face. It's an idiotic comment. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so Simon Carey says, Ping, I hate this sort of thing, but um, oh, I read that one. Um, okay, Chief Shrewman, thank you very much for your super chat, bro. He says, "Who? what do you think Mason will do for work outside football, says Chief Shrewman? <clears throat> Fucking hell. Um, well... <sighs> Fucking hell. I don't know, mate. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, crikey. I mean, Mason Greenwood, bloody hell, he's gonna have to make his money that he's got so far and last a long time. Um, he will get his he will get con his I guess he'll get his contract terminated by the club and paid off, I suppose. I suppose. So we get a big payday in that sense. But other than that, I don't see how he can work inside football. I don't see how he can do most jobs. When you've got to interact with people of the public, you know, women, children, all the rest of it, how can you how can you have that on your... I don't know, mate. I really don't know. I don't know is to answer your question. That's a tough question, Chief Shrewman. What what, what would he do? Finley says, some of the players have unfollowed. Roy Carl Brown, thank you uh, for getting in here. says, this is shocking, really, we, but we have to wait and see and Get see if this is all son. real. Then goodbye, Greenwood, a waste and talent if this is all true. Absolutely, Ray Carl Brown. Yes, totally disgusting Get if true, mate. And, uh, you know, see you later on. If it's true, mate, like we've discussed, we don't want anything to do with them at this there, football club, and it's we just have to eat the compensation and go and sign somebody else immediately. Get in there, my uh, I think I've caught up there with all the super chats. Thank you, every one of you, for sending those super chats in. I appreciate it. Um, let's Get scroll down there, to the bottom son. of the chat now and catch up here. Yeah, Black Rock Rugby says mopping floors on the H block. 
Dude, he's, he's dude. It's not. It's 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 it's. it's, oh, it's bad, isn't it? Get in there, my son. Gungshi, mate. How are you doing today? Says the village idiots are out in full force today. They are Gungshi. Yes. Ire Sunday's not happy about this situation. Um, yeah, the sports boffin says if he is charged and if he is found guilty, then he is done with football. If he is found innocent, I find it hard uh, how he can stay in the sport. Yeah, even if he's found innocent, it's going to be difficult to come back from it, isn't it, the sports boffin? Because people make up their own minds. People, people listen to certain evidence. And even if by a court of law, he is super, not found guilty. Even if that is the case, then it's still very difficult to come back from this, guys. That's why in the thumbnail it says, is Mason Greenwood finished? Question mark. Because at Manchester United, you know, that is the question. Is he finished at Manchester United? Thank you, 133. Um, Timothy Young says, if, super, if, as if United didn't have enough problems, chat. mate, our club just can't get out the dirt. Spot on, man. I know it's just another kick in the bollocks, isn't it, really? Tough, tough time of it. Our owners are shite, you know. Even, you know, people, legends being linked to the club, like Giggsy bringing the club in, the, the name into disrepute. I mean, think about Giggsy's career. Giggsy should be celebrated as the greatest player of, one of the greatest players of Manchester United's history. In fact, he is the most decorated player in the history of Manchester United, Ryan Giggs. But nobody's, nobody wants to, nobody wants a Giggs 11 shirt on their back anymore because he's synonymous with domestic abuse, assaulting a woman and also cheating with his brother's with missus. That's what he's synonymous with. The name Ryan Giggs. So if this is the case, and if it's guilty, that's what's Mace, that's what's going to happen to Greenwood. His name will become synonymous with um, with domestic abuse, if it's, if it's true. Um, Jarvis Cocker, thank you for the 50k super chat, bro. I appreciate you. Says we should take a stand against domestic abuse. The number of domestic abuse crimes recorded by the police in the UK. 845,734 in 2021. My goodness me, mate. That's shocking, isn't it? Dude, I heard actually that during lockdown, when people were locked up in the same houses as, as their families, that domestic abuse went up massively. So, you know, it's, 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 it's definitely going on, Jarvis Cocker. I know it's that's, that's terrible. We do need to raise more awareness about it because a lot of people suffer in silence in regards to domestic abuse. And when we say domestic abuse, we don't just mean that type of domestic abuse. Domestic abuse can take all forms, you know. It can take, uh, you know, harassment and um, whatever. You know, uh, there's so many different forms that it can it can it can take. Uh, not letting people leave, you know, not all that sort of stuff, keeping people imprisoned and that kind of thing. It's all it's all terrible. So yeah, you know, I agree. Anything we can do to raise a little bit of awareness then that would be good. And and uh, these people who are found guilty of these sort of situations, then they, they really shouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't be taken lightly. You know, Mason Greenwood and other people, if he's found guilty, man, they should have the book thrown at them, really, if they're, if they're, if they're really, truly guilty. Mojo says, no reason to assume anything too early to tell 100% either way. <sighs> I mean, Mojo, I mean, too early to tell. I mean, what do you need? Do you need... Okay, fair enough. I hear what you're saying. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're, you're right. You're right. But I guess, you know, it's too early to tell if somebody's standing over a fucking corpse with a smoking gun in their hand. But if you've got a audio of them fucking saying, have it, lad, and fucking shooting them, then maybe that's enough. I don't know. I don't know. But you're right, I suppose. You are right. You are right. Gangshi, thank you for the, for the NT super chat here, lad. He says, pig, on a lighter note, on a lighter note, I wore my Yushenka outdoors for the first time this year. My mum finally returned it to me. Oh, Gangshi, you're a bloody legend. Get in there, Gangshi. That's fantastic. And, um, yeah. Didn't we send you another one, Gangshi? <laughs> have, we, have we not sent you another one? Dude, slacking. I'm slacking there, Gangshi. I thought we sent you another one. Um, that's horrible. It's just toxic. Piggy, the number 11 is cursed. First gigs now. Mason says Timothy Young. Oh, the number 11 is cursed. Timothy Young, mate. Maybe we need to retire the number 11, dude. I'm not even joking. Like, the number 11 is just fucking awful now, isn't it? Red Devil Scotsman on Twitter says, no, there's not a chance he's finished. China, Qatar, all these places with terrible human rights and women's rights will take him and pay big money. Finished in England, yes. Red Devil Scotman, Scotsman on Twitter. Great shout, mate. I mean, you know, you're not actually, you're not actually far away from... You know, I think you're probably right. I think there's certain. I'm not saying not not agreeing necessarily those places you've said. I'm not saying that is the case, and they would have him. I'm not saying that, but there's probably somebody out there that would have him. You know, there's somebody out there that would have him. Surely.
Claire says the audio is damning evidence. That's what I'm going on as well. So there are allegations. It is alleged at this moment in time because we haven't had an audio or a vo vocal specialist um, from the police, you know, who's 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 assessed that that's 100% Mason Greenwood. We haven't done that yet. And I guess that's what needs to happen to completely make sure that it is Mason. But, you know, from that evidence that we know about so far, it's very damning. That's all we can say. It's very damning. Oh, no. Uh, you're waiting for morons to say Scorsese made the video. Uh, uh, King faces. do you believe Mason is actually guilty? I mean, I believe in innocent until proven guilty, King Face. So... Um, I, I'm not going to, I'm not personally going to say that. All I'm going to say is if he is guilty, you know, he's a piece of shit and I don't want him to play for Manchester United anymore. And he should f feel the full ramifications and repercussions of the law. Um, you know, but in my regards, do I, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not going to say, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say you guys, you guys know my opinion. You guys know my opinion. I don't need to say it, guys. I've already talked about it throughout this show in a roundabout way. I don't need to say yes or no. You know what I'm saying, guys? I don't need to. I'm not going to say it. So anyway. Um, yeah, exactly. Jenna Rockal Kosa says, what if Greenwood was innocent? Well, the evidence is damning, but you're spot on. What if that wasn't him in the audio? We don't actually know 100% yet, guys. You might know 99%. You might know 95%. You might think you know. But we actually don't know right now, to be fair. We actually do not know. Sean Eason, good job there, Pimot lad. Um, Sean Eason says, most violent behavior is learned during violence act upon them recycling violence. We all need to learn, says Sean Eason. That is that is actually a common theme. You are right, Sean. A lot, a lot of the time, people who are abusers, you know, have, a lot of the time, have had abuse in their own lives early, early on growing up. That is true. Off with his head, says T.Y. Well, let's just wait until more, more comes out here. But fair play. United I Die says, what if I'm scared of is this is true, then how many other footballers are doing this to their partners, says United I? Well, actually, it's not even just footballers, United I Die. This is the thing. You don't want to be, you don't want to, you've got to be careful. I, st I started going down that road earlier on in the video. And then somebody said, don't tie everyone with the same brush. And you're absolutely right. There might be higher numbers of footballers these days that are up to no good and naughty boys and doing all this sort of horrible, you know, whatever it is. But um, also, it's a bigger societal problem. It's not even just football. It's not just down to football. I do think that these young footballers get given way too much too soon. And it's such an easy life for them. They get big egos and big bollocks. And they all think they're the fucking kings and all the rest of it. That, of course, happens. Um, but it's also a societal issue. Like, there's domestic abuse that goes on with everybody. every All walks of life, you know. Doesn't have, you don't have to be a footballer to be a victim of domestic abuse or to dish out domestic abuse. You don't have to, you know, it's just down to the person, down to the individual. <clears throat> um, what, what, a, what a horrible topic to, to discuss, though. Yeah, you're right, Primark. This is a no topic to joke around about. Listen to the voice note. I know, I have listened to it. It's absolutely horrible. I'm not going to play it on this show, guys, but it is out there. Tonk Nash 87 thank you for a £2 Super Chat, boss. He says, man, he's done in real life. This is true. Who hits a girl for fuck's sake, says Tonk Nash 87. If it's true, like you said, I'm glad you put the it's true there. And it's it does like seem that. like it, you know, allegedly could be true. Um, who hits a girl? Only it's a complete like scumbag that. pussy, mate. That's basically the only person that would do that, really. And, um, Get in there, my you son. know, certainly, and even aside from that, right? So aside from that, Get when you actually there, listen to that audio, that alleged audio, it's like, it's actually... It's, it's, there, it's basically, son. it's, you're basically listening to, you're basically listening to rape. You know what I mean? That's what's so Get terrible there, about that, son. that audio is, you know, that alleged audio, it's, Get you're basically there, listening to rape. That's what it, that's what it's, that's what it sounds like to me. Um, so, Get pretty fucking there, awful. Um, men hitting women is much worse in my opinion, says Desto. Yeah, definitely. Get in there, my son. Hitting anyone is unacceptable. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not It's not worse hitting anyone. I mean, if a woman hits a man and there's being a domestic abuser, that's just as bad. But obviously, just a physicality point of view, a man, man can do damage to a woman more so than the other way around. You know, obviously a woman, you know, could still mash up a man. Don't get me wrong. But... <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, it, it's obviously when you when a when a man hits a woman, it's very cow it's very cowardly because you know often you have the physical strong advantage. You, know, you might have a heated argument, but to to to, to lay your hands on a woman is is uh, is low. 
Well, there you go, Denzel Washington. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot go on what we've got just yet. As much as we might see the evidence, and it's very damning. Like you say, there has been people in the past that have done certain things to fabricate certain situations. And I'm not saying that's the case for this situation, but that has happened before. And so we have to look at it from an objective point of view and let the law deal with it. Let the law deal with it. Um, okay. Pig going from the audio, it's 100% later. I didn't say that, Fred Red. I said, you know, I said in 19... I said, uh, you know, I was careful about what I said. I didn't say that. I didn't say 100% is him. I said it's, a, it's, it's you know, at this stage, we need to make sure where it's 100% sure, yeah. Um, Sean Easton says, absolutely not. It is disgusting, not supportive at all. Previous victim, to be fair. Fair play. I haven't heard the audio. How bad is it from a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being bad and, and, and 10 being vile and disgusting. What would you guys say? I'd say it's a 10. It's fucking vile and disgusting. It's a 10 out of 10 on the disgusting vile meter, to be fair. So, um, yeah. Hey, good job there, Berber lad. Get in there, my son. Hey there, John Get Wayne. How are you doing today? Son. Thank you for subscribing there. Kevin Farrell, LMF, Aunt Lewis, Sam Sam. Get in there, my son. Jason Brown, well, you're, you're, you're right in what you say. You're right in what you say. Audio is not proof of the act of rape, Get unfortunately. There, Spot son. on. I'll tell you something, though. It's it's proof of, if it's Mason, that audio is proof of the, well, he's not a very nice person. You know, it's not proof of what you've said. You're absolutely right. But it's proof of, we don't want anything to do with him. That's what it would be proof of, you know. Hey there, Owen Lam, what's super, going on? It sounds horrible, says so Toxic, yeah. 10 says United. It was a 10 out of 10 on the vial meter, definitely. No idea, Kingface. No idea, mate. Uh, she possibly recorded it because she knew it was coming. Well, there you go. Well, well Stefan, you know, f yeah, exactly. People were saying, oh, it's set up. Who could possibly say that? How can you set that up? What a load of bullshit. How can you set that up? You know what I mean? You, you either are an abusive person in that, in the way you're speaking and the way you're approaching making, you know, s s sexual moves on your partner, you're either a creep or you're not. And so people can't set that. How can you set that up? How can you possibly set that up? You know what I mean? I don't really understand how you can set that up. But anyway, <laughs> people are saying that, you know, Yeah, Hammerhead, what's going on? Says, I mean, he's young. We all make mistakes. It all just depends on how serious and how much intent was buying it. Very true, Hammerhead. I mean, we haven't even heard the, the, the you know, we haven't even heard all the, all the facts yet. We need to know more. Yeah, definitely, Jared. If he's guilty, he should get sacked by the club. Um, Probably happened before. So recorded for evidence, says Ellie. That's a good point as well. Yeah, and that's it. If, 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 if you're, um, if that is, exp if, if that is happening to you, if you are having those circumstances take place on the regular basis why shouldn't you record it you know that that's the only reason this has come out is because somebody was brave enough to to take a stance allegedly and uh you know and uh, do that so yeah reverend visas there are a few morals in football greed corrupts individuals and the stupid amounts of money and worship can deceive morons into thinking they're invincible spot on reverend spot on well said uh, Winston Smith says, if he's not kicked out the club and they handle this poorly, I'll seriously consider my support for the club moving forward. Very sad. Well said as well. Well said. They've got to deal with this. If he's guilty, they've got to deal with it in uh, a swift and, and uh, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, just the most sensible way possible. And the only way, the only sensible thing to do would be to, to terminate his contract. Respect. What's going on there, Moomen Rider? Thank you for joining. Um, Role play, says Michael Garland. I mean, wow. I mean, you know, I didn't really get role play vibes from that, Michael Garland. I'm going to be totally honest. I mean, there's probably, there is probably some people out there that like to, you know, that like to um, engage in certain role plays like that, Michael. You, you're probably right. You're probably onto something. But, dude, I don't think, <laughs> you make a very good point, though. Like, how do you know? <laughs> That's the point. That The audio is, is an allegation. The audio, it, it paints a very bad picture. It's ter It's fucking terrible, mate. It's what it is. I, I don't think that's the case, though, what you said. I personally don't. Yeah, got it recorded, so he's in big trouble, says Sean Davis. That's true, Samet Benza. You know, we need to wait until it's 100% confirmed who it is. 
he won't play for the club again, mark my word. So Fraff no going for Dembele, says Fred the Red. Looks like it, doesn't it, Fred the Red? We need Dembele now. Now Ushman Dembele has to come in. Swift and decisive, says Pacer. Jonathan says, bye, Berba. Chat is too toxic for me, says Jonathan Gallagher. Jonathan Gallagher, no, no worries, bro. And he says, look at body language in the video of them in the car. That's not role play. Yeah, that's a very sus video, Eddie. I thought that at the time. Honestly, I did. I mean, you know, he's a young lad. You know, we're, we've all been there. We've all been young. We've all, we're all, you know, we've all been red-blooded males and females growing up and having, you know, urges, right? But there's ways of, there's ways of going about things, isn't there? That's the, that's the reality. Dembele is made of paper, says Zachary de Lima. He is very injury prone. Think United will sell Greenwood now? Don't think we'll sell him, Jay. No, I don't think we should profit at all from Mason Greenwood. That's the thing. If he goes and signs for a different club, then more for them. But from Man United's point of view, no, we shouldn't sell him at all. We should just uh, sack him. If it's true, if it's true, <laughs> I want to just put that in there again. Declan Gibby's Gilby says, we'll be disappointed if the club doesn't come out of a statement also to condemn the actions. Yeah, I assume they might actually be um, coming out of a statement today but um but i haven't seen one yet such a mess this club says norfolk pyro no excuses for brutal for domestic abuse says anthony evelyn uh tad bates you're actually wrong he says everyone's outraged over mason but still support gigs selective outrage totally wrong tad i think after the last after gigs's last episode where he's found guilty of assaulting a woman i don't think anybody's supporting gigs anymore i think people support the fact that gigs was a club legend and is the most decorated player in our history before that even after he shagged his brother's missus right but i don't think they do now i actually disagree with that statement tab Banks. i don't support gigs i think gigs is a piece of shit so you know i i i, I personally disagree with that statement all those with a greenwood shirt yeah the video yeah yeah it's sad it's time for me to give myself to man and to protect them says latan too much too soon right guys well we've we've got a, a whole bunch of legends in here i think i'm going to wrap this video up now because uh you know we've got We've got uh, a potential that there's going to be more news, obviously, in terms of this later on as well. We might jump back on and give you an update if, if and when there's anything happening. I mean, Emerald Crab says, just join what happened. I'm confused. So there's audio and pictures from Mason Greenwood's ex-girlfriend that have come out that, uh, you know, allegedly um, show or, or, you know, show injuries that have been inflicted upon her by Mason, allegedly. And there's also um, audio of uh him allegedly making um what would you say force very forceful forceful yeah just forcing him force forceful forceful advances that's the situation mate that's what's come out it's not a football thing yeah i'm with, I'm with you there as well um yeah yeah right guys yeah the chat's getting a little bit silly so <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap this one up Thank you, Michael Garland says, top channel pig. Guys, if you enjoy the show, please do smash that like button on the video. Let's see if we can get 900 likes on the stream. Also, if you're new to this channel, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button because we cover all the latest United news in a no bullshit way. We've got a great community of legends here that watch and get involved. We don't do clickbait shite or any, um, you know, guff like that. We also uh, don't spam with four, four or five you know, transfer videos all throughout the day, just bollocks. We keep it real on this channel, guys. So if, you, if you're enjoying the show, please do make sure you subscribe, get in here, click the little bell icon so you get post notifications when we get go live. Do side. drop the subscribe and click the bell. And make sure you drop the like on the video, guys. That'll boost us up there, man. Get in thank you, Sad. Side. Thank you, Lakshmi. Thank you, Digger Me. Thank you, Mins and Jack. Everyone for hitting that subscribe button. Get I really appreciate you all side. dropping in and getting your thoughts in. Uh, Mike drop. I mean, we don't know Mike drop, but you know, there's going to be an investigation now, bro. That's why it's been removed is because there's going to be invest an investigation. So we have to wait and see. Thank you, Lynette Geeks. Thank you, Timothy Young, Max Tiger, you legend as well. Everyone should have lots of respect, uh, but to every woman in the world, women's opinions and choices matter. Absolutely, Max Tiger. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, Berber. I mean, actually, I want to end this on positivity. So let's get, let's just, <sighs> we can only go on what we've sort of seen. But let's get some love hearts once again in there for the alleged victim and also um, anybody that is suffering from domestic abuse in the live chat, guys. Please do get some love hearts in there for everybody suffering from domestic abuse. Thank you, Ryan Bunaldini. And once again, there's a link. Uh, there's um, a link down below in the description. You can there's some telephone numbers there for domestic abuse helplines for both men and women. And uh, you know, 
and uh you can go and get help if you if you if you if you need it guys or you know reach out guys thank you Bo 6091 tommy ellie united till i die mad animal mikey claire wiggy timothy berber wfx overflow to alex Stephen carr dizzy everyone else smash that like on the video before you go hit the sub click the bell before you go follow us on social media at flying pig united on instagram facebook twitter and tiktok and also check out the website unitedflyinghigh.com uh, for your latest for your latest news in regards to Manchester United. Thank you. Yes, stay strong to the victims, Raymond Moore. You are not alone. Get in there, Raymond. Good to see you, bud. Retro on Lim, Anshul, Shamir, Max, Timothy, Dis Dizzy, Kingface, T.Y., Tonknash, Jarvis, Retro, Reverend Jack, The Sports Boffin, Toxic, Mark Harris, Lynette Giggs, and every one of you legends out there. Thank you so much for being a part of the stream. Listen, guys, it's not a nice topic to discuss today. Um, I'm very glad that, uh, you know, you guys joined me to... So, you know, to, 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 to get into it, you know, I've had to be careful about what I say as well. And, um, you know, I'll just leave it on on this, really. If it's true, then Manchester United is a football club. We don't want anything to do with them, if it's true. And if it's true, then, you know, I hope that, you know, I hope that there's a, a you know, a, a, he feels the full extent of the law. That's what I would say. If, if, if it's true. If it's true, if it's true, if it's alleged, you know, if it's found out to be 100% proven that he's Get guilty, there, my son. you know. Yeah, Max Nick, you've got 1K viewers. Yes, indeed. Thank you, everyone, for watching Get the stream. There, great view, a great show today. Uh, you know, well, viewers-wise, not a great topic, but you know what I'm saying. Jamie, Arkash, there, Tomu, Steve Keo, and everyone else. Thank you, Gungshi. says you handled it well, Pig. Thank you, Gungshi. Well, I tried, Get mate. There, I mean, son. if I'm being honest, I held back massively, dude, because, you know... You gotta be careful about what you say on and stuff on the internet when there's investigations going on with with uh, police and all that kind of thing. So I've held back. You 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 guys probably, if you know me, you probably know how I how I how I, what I want to say, but I can't say it. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Until until it's been proven one way or the other. Right, guys. See you in a bit. Thank you, guys. O top Shazad superstar Timothy Stephen Ellie Jarvis Rigsy Victor Gungshi Berber and everybody else as well. Um, check United's Twitter. Oh, hang on a sec. Hang on a second. Thank you very much, Shazad. Wait a second. Before we go, have we got some more news here? Wait a second. What's going on before we go? There is nothing on there, mate. <laughs> why, why are you on a bar? There is nothing on there new. On their Twitter. What am I supposed to be looking at, Shazad? <laughs> I don't know, mate. I don't know. Glad you did the show. Thank you, Jarvis. No, I mean, it's good to, you know, to to cover the latest goings on at the club and to raise awareness for this sort of stuff as well, because people who are being uh, victims of domestic abuse, you know, a lot of the time they suffer in silence and it's not good, mate. And I think it's very brave of the individual involved who's come out to do this personally. Claire Mooshai says, I'm a new sub. Love your commentary. Thank you so much, Claire. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, statement from United. Mason Greenwood will not return to training or play matches. United further notice. Okay, hang on a second. Maybe it's is it on their website, is it? Is that legit or... Sorry, I hope that's not fake news coming in the chat. Why can't I see this? Why can't I see this information here on their Twitter or their website? Yeah, Victor Davies is an absolutely a depressing day, mate. So, yeah, I don't think they have released any statement or anything. Rob Dawson. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at Rob Dawson, mate. Thank you. Right, guys. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> There's actually a bit more a bit more news here. Hang on. Rob Dawson. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, we have got a further statement. Thank you so much, guys. Shazad, thank you, everyone, for letting me know. Let me get this up on the screen. <sighs> so, he's been suspended, essentially. Mason Greenwood, guys. Check this out. So, uh... This is it. Um, this is the new statement, guys, from Rob Dawson of ESPN here. He's obviously had some contact with the club, and it says, further statement from Man United, Mason Greenwood will not return to training or play matches until further notice, guys. Fabrizio Romano's tweeted as well, has he? Let's go and take a look. Mm. Yeah, it's the same. 
It's the same statement from uh, Fab. Yeah, Manchester United official statement on Mason Greenwood. That's the official statement there, guys. As you can see, Mason Greenwood will not return to training or play matches until further notice. Definitely the right decision, Alex, mate. E e to be fair, even if it's not, even if it's not true, Alex, like you said, right decision if true. Even if it's not true, it's still the right decision. You know, until we find out one hundred percent. But as as things stand, I personally think United probably wouldn't have. Uh, then again, then again, they might have. You know, if it's very damning, guys. It's just very damning situation. Yeah, he may still have some sort of career abroad. Actually, Tim for Young, you're right. Good says Quinn. Good decision says Shazan Ahmed. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll leave it there then, guys. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on as and when it breaks on this Mason Greenwood story. Um, it's very disappointing, you know, it's very disappointing, guys. Um, that's all we can say. It's very sad. And once again, get some love hearts in there for the alleged victim and anybody else who's suffering with this kind of thing in their lives. Uh, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Do drop the like before you go. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if new. Click the bell, post notification bell as well. And check out the website, unitedflyinghigh.com. Follow us on social media, Flying Pig United on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and TikTok. And I'll be back later with the latest uh, transfer news. Um, obviously, Donny's joining Everton. That's a done deal. In case you didn't know, Donny van der Beek is on loan at Everton to the end of the season. They're covering 100% of the wages. And we will give you all the latest stuff as and when it drops on the channel in regards to this or any other Manchester United news. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Come back afterwards and get your comments in there in the chat. But what I will say is, you know, I'm going to watch the comments like a hawk. And I will be deleting comments if they are, what's the word, um... Oh, you know, you know, uh, slat, no, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I've just got to be careful about, <laughs> I'm not going to put any stupid comments on there, basically, is what I'm saying. But come back and have your say afterwards. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Keep a lookout for an upcoming video later on. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.